What is going on you guys? This is Ryan back again with another episode of Pack and Play. We're going up against a guy with some decent cards as usual. It's starting to get more increasingly obvious that the higher we get up in the seasons, the more people we're going to match up with that are near our skill level or just a little bit better. So as always, we're going to start off with a handoff to Pierre Thomas. In last game, he absolutely dominated. Looking for another performance from him today. Just as similar as last game. So let's see if he can do it. Already starting off strong. Down to the 40. Down to the 30. One guy to beat. And he gets him by his ankles and takes him down. My screen is a little bit too loud right now. There we go. Uh, first down and 10. We try to find someone open in the back of the end zone. But we end up getting hit. Not able to make the pass. Frank Gore comes in. Runs down. Running hard. Falling forward. All the way down to the 10 yard line. Almost getting that first down. But... On third down and one, we cannot have a similar run right there, and we do not get the first down. But fourth down and two, we find Jermaine Gresham has been big time for us lately, and we get that first down. And Pierre takes it down to the one, which means we're going to go ahead and put in Delaney Walker for the fullback handoff, and we get in there for the pro pack. There it is. And now we are going to try to play some defense now. Let's see what this guy has cooking on offense, see if he has anything going. He's going to go ahead and go deep right off the bat, and he's going to run away from it. I thought that was funny. So I thought I'd mess around with him a little bit and just taunt. Um, I don't usually do that, but to go deep on your first play, kind of just like, really? You're going to go deep on your first play? I kind of had to taunt him a little bit. But Pierre, next handoff here, going again, going strong, having just a similar game as he did last time, just no touchdowns yet. We're going to find an open receiver, and yes, it's Jermaine Gresham again. He's been a beast for us lately, and I'm definitely excited to have him on the team. And then Pierre getting into the end zone definitely deserving of a touchdown puts us up by two scores and two pro packs next play for him he goes deep again his only two passes have been deep passes and one of them gets completed so first down and 10 at the 19 yard line i'm kind of pissed off that he got that so we're gonna grab it with the honey badger user pick number one go down to the 20 30 all the way down to about the 40 to the 45 46 yard line and we're gonna take over here uh, moving ahead, second down and 10. Pierre is going to break off a tackle, spin, and he's going to go to the 40, the 30. He said, get off me, and he's taking it for six. Pierre is just a beast. I don't know why he plays so good, but it puts us up by another pro pack. 21 to nothing now, and if we're playing competitively, then this game would be over with the 21 rule. Uh, his handoff goes for only a gain of a couple, and his player actually gets hurt, which is Darren Sproles. Puts in Trey Mason, and he goes down to the 37 yard line another handoff to Trey and Trey's a beast but he gets popped right there gets absolutely killed by looked like Eric Reed um and then a handoff here he go, <laughs> pretty much goes backwards now loses a couple yards third down and eight he's gonna have to find someone open here he goes deep again is he gonna complete another deep pass yes he is down to the five yard line his only two completions have been deep bombs and he gets into the end zone Darren Sproles returns Takes away one of our pro packs, but now we're pretty we're pretty pissed off. After a big return by Tyron Matthew, we try to go for the jugular right there. Try to go to Mike Evans for a quick score, but we can't get that. Pierre Garcon on the next catch goes down to the 16-yard line. Third down in inches now for Peyton Manning. We're going to find an open receiver again, Pierre Garcon, down to the 8-yard line. Now first down and goal. Let's go ahead and find someone open here, and we try to fit it in there. Try to squeeze it in, but we're not able to get Pierre his touchdown but on the next play we find uh, Virgil Green making his way onto the field and getting in there for a touchdown and putting us up by that pro pack that we lost again he's going to try to go deep but he ends up getting hit by one of our defenders second down and 10 is he going to stop going deep no he's not he goes deep again and Tyron Matthew is there but the ball gets batted out of the way 26 yard line and uh, I meant to say 37 seconds left not 26 yard line but 37 seconds left 26 yard line he goes deep again and Darrell Rivas grabs the interception. So 28 to 7. We got possession of the ball. Can we get another touchdown before half? Let's see what happens here. With 26 seconds, we have to find, you know, some quick strikes, try to get into the end zone. We try to go deep right away and, you know, match what he's doing to us and piss him off a little bit, but not able to complete that pass. Uh, then Jermaine Gresham goes down to about the 22 yard line on the next. Uh, pass third down and one let's try to find someone open we try to run around and we go to Jordy Nelson and oh my god he made the catch no way there's no way he made that catch I just had to run away and try to find someone open and I eventually just said you know what screw it let's just go to Jordy it was a terrible decision to throw that but we ended up getting the touchdown anyways after a crazy play by Jordy but if you keep it track right there that is another pro pack another user pick that we controlled all the way through and now we're going to enter the third quarter skipping ahead a little bit 
Uh, it is now third down and 11 after a sack and a gain of nothing on the ground. And Julius Peppers gets the pick, and that's going to be the game. So we won by four scores. It's four packs, one for the two user picks, and one for the rage quit. Six packs to open. We're going to try to get a 24-hour Ultimate Legend. Here we go. All right, guys, we got six packs to open. Ultimate Legends are in the game. We got some other cards in the game. I'm not too sure about it. I think NFL Movers might be in the packs right now. But let's see if we can get anything good to upgrade this team. Six packs should be uh, pretty decent as we get a Benjamin Watson, which we do not need. And was that DeMarcus Van Dyke? 96 speed, 71 man. What's his catching? 62 catching, so... Uh, I used to love playing with DeMarcus Van Dyke when he was on the Raiders a couple of Maddens ago. He was actually pretty decent, but I might keep him and experiment with him a little bit. But I like my corners that I have right now. Uh, next pack, J.J. Wilcox. Matt Scott, we got an elite card here, and it is a Colts draft collectible. And a Kyle Williams. So we actually get an upgrade right there. 86 overall defensive tackle. Uh, 94 power move. Let's go ahead and compare him to what we have already. Um, not better speed than Nick Fairley, obviously. Strength is a lot better. Well, only one better. Uh, but everything else is pretty much either very similar or a little bit better than Nick Fairley. Um, it's not a huge upgrade, but definitely it's nice to have some elite players around the defensive side of the ball for sure. Uh, so next pack, let's go ahead and see what we can get here. Danny Woodhead. Oh, shoot. And, <laughs> oh, we got an elite player. Oh, elite badge. Uh, Danny Woodhead, if you guys remember last pack and play, um, Madden 15 pack and play, or Madden 25, I'm sorry. Danny Woodhead was one of the best players that we had. Uh, pretty comparable to, you know, Pierre Thomas. Um, not in terms of their attributes, but, I mean, in comparison to how we play with Pierre Thomas is what we were doing at Danny Woodhead in Madden 25. So I'm definitely going to give Woodhead a shot to play a little bit behind Pierre Thomas. You know, instead of Gore coming in, we'll have someone else come in with the same speed and a little bit more elusiveness. Maybe we'll make some plays to him. Uh, a little bit of a throwback to Madden 25 for sure. Now all we need is Sammy Watkins, and we got them all. Uh, so Brian De La Puente is the gold card we pull and another draft badge. Um, I'm not even getting excited for Elite Flashes because I know it's going to be a draft badge. Those are really, really easy to pull um, so far from these pack openings. But uh, De La Puente, very terrible run block, but better than Eric Wood. Better pass block, better impact blocking, but worse strength by a couple. Um, as of right now, I think I'll use that De La Puente, but uh, I'm definitely in need of a better run blocking center for sure as my strength is running the ball. So hopefully eventually we pull someone like that. Uh, Ray McDonald, another Elite badge. Uh, NFL draft badge as we get a friend or uh, is that a friend? No, it's a message from my friend uh, I guess he doesn't know that I'm doing a video right now um, But Ray McDonald, I don't really think he's a very good player at all 69 speed 88 block shed 90 tackle He's all right uh, might find a way to put him on the uh, bench coming off the bench or whatever, but we'll see uh, Next pack we got a Matt Tobin Andre Brown Mike Pouncey and Mike Pouncey, let's see so 84 run block, 90 pass block, 94 impact blocking, and 88 strength. Hmm. Definitely better than De La Puente. So, yeah, there we go. We actually got a better run blocking center. Very good pool. Uh, definitely excited about that. I really want to get some more upgrades, though, on, like, the offensive side of the ball. Um, for as much as I love Peyton Manning, I'm kind of hoping I get, like, a Derek Carr all rookie or something like that. That would be a, a huge upgrade for me. Uh, next pull, we get a J.R. Sweezy. And I'm not too sure if I open up six packs right there or seven. So I'm probably not going to use a JR Sweezy anyway. So we'll just count that as like a pack open for trying to get the 24 hours. But uh, I think that may have been seven packs by accident. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup here. See what we can upgrade. See what players we got and how they compare to the other guys. So right off the bat, Travis Frederick is the guy that we were using. Not Eric Wood, I guess. And Travis Frederick's got that 97 run block. So I'm not sure if I want to use Pouncey or De La Puente. Because that run block is really, really nice. Especially if I do like a, a handoff up the middle. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put Pouncey here. And, you know, if, if Travis Frederick does anything terrible in the next couple games, then we'll try Pouncey instead. But that run block is too nasty to not put as a starter. So we're just going to keep him for now. And if we get anyone that's more well-rounded, then we'll, we'll definitely switch him out. But for now, definitely for sure we're going to keep that Pouncey or the uh, Travis Frederick. But there is Danny Woodhead moving down to the second spot at the running back position. And we'll go ahead and put Gore <clears throat> at number three. And as for the offense, I think that's pretty much all we pulled there. Let's go ahead and move to the defensive side of the ball. And we got that uh, Kyle Williams. And like I said, Kyle Williams is either, you know, a lot better at some positions or just pretty much 
um, you know, the same as Nick Fairley. So Nick Fairley move over to number two, which I do believe that'll be okay. Uh, I definitely like Nick Fairley a lot, but I think Kyle Williams will play a little bit better than him. Terrence Knighton down to defensive tackle number three. And we'll keep Phil Taylor at four because who cares? Uh, and there's our defense. I think that's pretty much it. Did we get a linebacker? No, we did not get a linebacker. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty much the lineup right there. Uh, not the best pools, but definitely some stuff to upgrade a little bit. We got the Kyle Williams, you know, some offensive linemen that we may potentially use. And then that Danny Woodhead. I'm excited about using him just because of last year's Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, pack and play but that's gonna be the video guys go ahead and give it a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you guys later peace